So my brothers and sisters, please don't be angry. I'm a genuine Christian. I've been a Christian for more than 24 years. I have even pastored three different churches, which include the Redeemed Church. So I'm not a heretic. I'm not here to drag a Christianity. But please, something is confusing me. All right? Every Easter, we celebrate Good Friday as the day Jesus, uh, the, the, the night Jesus Christ was killed and buried, and Easter Sunday. But every time when I want to teach this, I'm, I have a disquiet. That how can you count three days and three nights from Friday to Sunday? Did Jesus really die on a good Friday? Because I've racked my head. I've tried to do the math, binary math. I've, uh, uh, I've tried. I cannot count three days and three nights from Friday night to Sunday morning. We all know Jesus Christ was killed on a Friday after just as the Sabbath was kicking in. So in the evening, then that night, he was buried, right? Then we also know that the two Marys, according to the book of Luke, they went to the graveyard on the day after the Sabbath to go and anoint Jesus Christ. They were not even expecting resurrection. Anyway, they went in there, and then when they got there, they saw that Jesus Christ had risen. So now the question is, how can we count three days and three nights from Friday night, if that's what we are celebrating, and Sunday morning, if that's the day we are saying is the resurrection day. And there is no ambiguity. Jesus Christ was clear. It's going to be three days and three nights. In Matthew 12, 38 and 39, these Sadd the, uh, uh, Sadducees and Pharisees went to meet him. He said, we want to see a sign from you. And he answered, a wicked and an adulterous generation asked for a sign, but none will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. And just in case there will be no confusion, in Matthew 12, 40, Jesus clarified it. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the heart. So Jesus was clear. He's going to be buried for three days and three nights. Not three days and two nights. Not two days and three nights. Three days and three nights. But how do you count that? Count with me. If Jesus was buried on Friday evening, Friday night, so there was no day on Friday, obviously. So the first night will be Friday night to Saturday morning. The second night will be Saturday night to Sunday morning. Where is the third night? If you want to even count the days, the first full day will be Saturday because there was no day on Friday. It was night that he was killed. So there is Saturday morning to evening. There is no day on Sunday because the Bible says the two Marys went there while it was still very dark before daybreak. So there was no day on Sunday. So we can only count at best two, two nights and one day. Even if we want to give Friday as the, as the day too, that's two nights and two days. So where do we come up with saying Jesus Christ died on a good Friday? Me looking at this without being funny, without trying to ridicule Christianity. I'm a Christian myself. I've been one for 24 years. It's either Jesus didn't die on a good Friday or he didn't rise up on Sunday morning. You cannot have both because you can't count three days and three nights from Friday night to Sunday morning before it was, while it was still dark. So why are they not teaching us that? Not that it mattered much. But see, little, little things like this make people doubt our Bible, make, make them doubt our Christian claims. I'm going to be teaching a full teaching to show that Jesus did not die on a Friday. And I will prove it using the Bible, not theory, not secular story, right in that, that scripture. It's in there. If only you know how to look. And I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to break it. But what do you think? Did you think Jesus Christ died on Friday night and rose up on Sunday morning? in contradiction of Matthew 12, 40. Or you think I'm just a heretic, or you think something's wrong with me. Maybe I need prayers. Maybe I need deliverance. Make your comments, but be nice. If you say I got it wrong, please be, take time to educate me. I want to know, how do you get the three days and three nights? Because Jesus was clear, there is no ambiguity. Three days and three nights. It was earned that I will be buried. What's going on? Koyemio, which should help me out here. Now I'm confused. God bless you. And I, I, I look forward to reading your comments. <laughs>